distinguished ladies and gentlemen, the uh, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, the time now is 11 a.m. So please let us rise for the national anthem. Good morning again, distinguished ladies and gentlemen and our shareholders. The quorum required by Article 16 of the company's Article of Association is two members present in person or by proxy. Can the registrar confirm that the quorum has been formed, please? Registrar. Somebody give her the mic, please. Good morning, Mr. Chairman, members of the high table, and esteemed shareholders. My name is Augustina Obi, and I represent Coronation Registrars Limited, the registrars to Dangote Cement PLC. We have 466 shareholders attending physically, and 62 shareholders represented by proxies with a total of 15 billion, 205 million, 703,946 shareholding, representing 62 points. Hold on. Representing 88.98% of the Dangote Cement PLC issued share capital. With this information, we confirm that a quorum has been formed. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Ms. Augustina Obi. Uh, this meeting is therefore duly convened and properly constituted. Accordingly, it gives me great pleasure to welcome you all to the 14th annual general meeting of our company, which I now declare open. Uh, may I please request Dr. Faru to say the opening prayer, please. We pray to God to bless our company, to give our chairman good health, our directors, management, and staff of Dango Testament PLC. We pray to Allah to give us peace and stability in this country. And we also pray to Allah to improve the economy in this country and uh, help us make more profit in this company. And we pray to God to also assist us in strengthening our investment in the different African countries we have invested and we are grateful to God for the dividend we are getting this year, 20 Naira, despite the difficulty and the challenges we had uh, in the financial year. 
سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين آمين Thank you very much uh, Dr. Farouk <coughs> There are seven items of business before you today you all have the opportunity to be able to move or second each of the motions put to the meeting and contribute as you wish. After that, an opportunity will be given for questions on each motion before a vote is taken. Please ensure that you raise your hand and receive approval before you speak. Microphones and amplifying equipment have been placed strategically so that everyone should be able to hear. Therefore, I request that you speak audibly and start by stating your names. The Registrar of Directors uh, holding is hereby uh, available, you know, uh, for inspection during this meeting in compliance with Section 301, Subsection 8 of the Companies and Allies Matters Act. Before we proceed to the formal uh, matters on the agenda, I would like to take this opportunity to introduce to you the directors and acting company secretary and general counsel of your company. Uh, I'm Aliko Dongote, the chairman of your company. Thank you. On my left is Ms. Avin Patak, your group managing director, who was appointed 1st of March 2023 and will be uh, presented at this meeting for election. Next to him is Ms. Olakule Alake, your non executive director. Uh, next to him uh, is Philip. Matthews, your deputy group managing director, and Mr. Abdul Dantata, your non executive director. On the right is Mr. Edward Emedemhe, the acting company secretary. Next to him is Mr. Ernest Abi, MFR, your in, independent non executive director, Mrs. Dorothy. Udeme Ufot, SAN, your independent non executive director. Then next, Mr. Emmanuel Ekazebo, your non independent executive director. And Mr. DVG Edwin, your non executive director. The following directors are attending the meeting electronically due to the current challenges of international travels. And by way of introduction, we have Mrs. Sherry Blair, uh, your independent non executive director. And next is Mr. Biswal Nathan Shankar, your non executive director. Do you have him? Okay. Next to, uh, I mean, after Shankar is Mr. Dredd. Zaguni, your non executive director. I think they will show him uh, as we speak. And your non executive director. Uh, and Mrs. Belina Marol, your non executive director. She's right there joining us from South Africa. I would also like to introduce the members of the statutory audit committee, Mr. Robert Ade Odiachi. Hmm? who is the chairman of the committee representing the others, uh, that is Mr. Sherif Yusuf Majurola and Nicholas Nyamali. I would also like to introduce the representatives of NGX regulations, Mr. Beneventure Onguji, is he here? Okay, thank you. The Securities and Exchange Commission, Mrs. Uroro Obaji. Thank you. Uh, you didn't clap for the lady. 
Uh, the Corporate Affairs Commission is Mrs. Kemi Sage. Our Registrar's Coronation, Registrar's Limited, Mrs. Augustina Obi. Our Independent Auditors, KPMG Professional Services, Mr. Goodluck Obi, Duni Okegbemila, Akintoe Alaode. They are all here. I now call on the acting company secretary to read notice of the meeting, please. Edward. Good morning, Chairman, distinguished director, esteemed shareholders, ladies and gentlemen. I present the notice of annual general meeting of Dangote Cement PSC as follows. Notice is hereby given that the 14th annual general meeting of Dangote Cement PLC will hold on Thursday, 13th April 2023 at the Co-Hotel Suite, Victoria Island, Lagos, at 11 a.m. to present the following business. Ordinary business, to lay the auditor financial statement for the year ended 31st December 2022 together with the report of directors, auditors, and the audit committee thereof, to declare dividend, to elect and re-elect directors, to authorize the director to fill the regulation of the audit, auditors for the year 2023, to disclose the remuneration of directors of the company, managers of the company, to elect shareholder representatives to the statutory audit public, special business, to consider and if thought fit, pass the following resolution as ordinary resolution of the company, to fix the remuneration of directors. Note, process. Member of the company entitled to attend a vote at the meeting is entitled to appoint a prosy to attend a vote in his stead. A prosy need not be a member of the company. A prosy of an organization may vote by show of hand or a pool. To be valid, to be valid, executed form of prosy should be deposited at the register office of the company secretary at Afrerewani Road, Ikoi, Lagos. Number one, Afrerewani Road, Ikoi, Lagos. Or, the Office of the Registrar, Coronation Registrar at number 9, Amod Wojoko to Victoria Alam, not later than 48 hours before the time of holding the meeting. A proxy form is attached to the annual report and may be downloaded from the company's website, www.dangotesement.com. Closure of Register of Member. Notice is hereby given that the Register of Member and the Transfer Books of the company will be closed on the 31st of March 2023. Payment of dividend. If the shareholders at the annual general meeting approve the dividend recommended by the directors, dividend will be paid on Friday, 14th April 2023, to the shareholders whose name are registered in the company register of member at the close of business on the 30th of March 2023. A list of unclaimed dividend is available on the company's website www.dangotesement.com Shareholder with a claim share, certificate and a claim dividend should address their claim to the Registrar, Coronation Registrar Limited at number 9, Amod Ojoku to Victoria Island, Lagos or on the link in the notice to complete the share mandate form for processing the payment. Please note that pursuant to provision of section 187 of Karma 2020, Treasury share shall not be entitled to dividend of voting rights. E dividend registration. Notice is hereby given to all shareholders to open bank account, stockbroking account, CSCS account for receiving dividend payment electronically. A detachable e-mandate activation form is included in the annual report to enable shareholders to provide their details to the register. Election and re-election of director pursuant to section 285 of the Company Analyzed Matter Act 2020. The following director shall retire by rotation, being eligible have offered themselves for re-election. Mr. Olakunde Alake, Mr. Imuano Ikazuko, Mr. Edes Ebi, MFR, Mr. Doris Zagwani, Mrs. Mrs. Bellina, Ms. Bellina Moroni. Special notice is hereby given pursuant to section 282 of the Company Analyzed Matter Act 
that when we have an NSTV, over 70 years, and I'm in particular willingness to continue as directors of the company. Profile of director for election and re-election. The profile of director for to retire by rotation and standing for election. Among the profiles of directors provided in the annual report for the year ended 34 December 2022. From the to the audit committee, in accordance with section 404, subsection 6 of the company and allied water at 2020 cabinet. Any member who nominate a shareholder for election as a member of the Statistical Audit Committee by giving notice in writing to the Public Secretary 21 days before the annual general meeting. Section 404 sub 5, come and require the member of the Statistical Audit Committee shall be for initially meeting. Right of the security holder to ask questions. Security holder has the right to ask questions, not only at the annual general meeting, but also a right to proud to the meeting. The question should be submitted to the company secretary at the company registered office up to two days before the date of the annual general meeting. Election and annual report on the company website. In addition to the dispatch of the star annual report the shareholder, an electronic version of the annual report is uploaded to the company website. Student, the annual general meeting will be streamed live from our website www.tangotesnet.com and our YouTube channel www.youtube.com so Tango to go by order of the board. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Emoy Demhe. Uh, before we move to item one on the agenda, let me present to you the chairman's statement on pages 10 to 11 in the printed annual and accounts already circulated. Do you agree that we should take it as read? Thank you very much. Uh, thank you, distinguished shareholders. There are, seven, uh, there are seven agenda items to be deliberated on today. Pursuant to the Companies and Allied uh, Motors Act, I hereby demand a poll on all the items on the agenda apart from item one, five, and six. Please note that voting for resolution in respect of each agenda item will be carried out electronically. Uh, each shareholder has been given a voting device and the results will be displayed on the screen. I will now invite the registrar to provide explanation about the electronic voting. Registrar, please. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Esteemed shareholders, please be informed that we have captured a total number of 62 shareholders' voting details received by proxy and holding 15 billion, 163 million, 367 units representing 88.98% of the issued share capital. Hence, the voting results will be displayed in addition to the votes cast here today. When you came in this morning, you were provided with a voting device that we have configured to represent your shareholding in Dangote Cement PLC. After the resolutions have been read out, the shareholders are to cast their votes. Kindly take a look at your respective voting devices. The button 1A is for a yes vote, and 2B is for a no vote. Once I announce that the voting has commenced, please press the reference button in accordance with your decision. Please note that you can change your vote during the voting period, but once the voting period has ended, the last button you pressed will be recorded as your vote. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mrs. Augustina Obi. Uh, we will now move to item one on the agenda. As I'm sure you agree, uh, you have had the report and accounts for a period ended 31st December 2022 for the required statutory period. I would now like to formally lay before the meeting the annual report and accounts, including the audited financial statements 
for the year ended 31st December 2022 together with the reports of the directors, auditors and statutory audit committee thereon. I will now ask a representative of the auditors to read the report of the auditors, which is on page 103 to 107 of the annual reports and accounts. Mr. V, uh, can you please? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Good morning, distinguished shareholders and members of the board. Our reports can be found on page 103. Mr. Chairman, I would like to take your indulgence and those of the distinguished shareholders to take certain aspects of the report as read. Is it okay, Mr. Chairman? Yes. Uh, Thank yeah. you. Independent auditors report to the shareholders of Dangote Cement PLC reports on the audits of the consolidated and separate financial statements. Opinion. We have audited the consolidated and separate financial statements of Dangote Cement PLC, the company, and its subsidiaries together the group, which comprise the consolidated and separate financial statements, consolidated and separate statements of financial position as at 31st December 2022, the consolidated and separate statements of profit or loss, the consolidated and separate statements of comprehensive income, the consolidated and separate statement of changes in equity, the consolidated and separate statement of cash flows for the year then ended, and the notes comprising significant accounting policies and other explanatory information. In our opinion, the accompanying consolidated and separate financial statements give a true and fair view of the consolidated and separate financial position of the company and its subsidiaries as at 1st December 2022 and of its consolidated and separate financial performance and its consolidated and separate cash flows for the year then ended in accordance with IFRS standards as issued by the International Accounting Standards Board, the IFRS standards, and in the manner required by the Companies and Allied Matters Act, Kama 2020, and the Financial Reporting Council of Nigeria Act 2011. The basis of opinion, the key audit matters, other information are as contained in the report. I will then take you to page 107, page 107. Reports on other legal and regulatory requirements. Compliance with the requirements of Schedule 5 of the Companies and Allied Matters Act 2020. We have obtained all the information and explanations which to the best of our knowledge and belief we are necessary for the purpose of our audit. In our opinion, proper books of accounts have been kept by the company so far as appears from my examination of those books. The company's statement of financial position, statement of profit or loss, and statement of comprehensive income are in agreement with the books of account. Signed by myself on behalf of KPMG. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Obi. Uh, in accordance with the Companies and Allied Motors Act, the statutory audit committee duly carried out their duties as required on the accounts for the period ended 31st December 2022. I now ask the chairman of the statutory audit committee, Mr. Robert Ade Odiachi, to read the statutory audit committee report on page 100 of the annual report and accounts. Mr. Ade Odiachi, please. Um, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, my distinguished fellow shareholders, I present to you the report of the statutory audit committee of our dear company. In accordance with section 4047 of the Companies and Allied Matters Act, Kama 2020, and section 34 of the SEC code, the members of the statutory audit committee of Dangote PLC hereby report as follows. We have exercised our statutory functions under section 4047 of the Companies and Allied Matters Act, Kama 2020. And we acknowledge the cooperation of the board, management, and staff in the conduct of these responsibilities. After careful consideration of the report of the external auditors, we accepted the report that the financial statement give a true and fair view of the state of the group and company's financial affairs 
as at the 31st December 2022. We confirm that the accounting and reporting policies of the group and company are in accordance with legal and regulatory requirements, as well as agreed ethical practices. We reviewed the scope and planning of the audit requirements and found them adequate. We reviewed the findings of, on the management letter prepared by the external auditors and found management response to the findings very satisfactory. The accounting and internal control systems is constantly and effectively being monitored through an effective internal audit function. We made recommendations to the board on the reappointment and remuneration of the external auditors and also reviewed the provision made in the financial statements for the remuneration of the external auditors. We considered that the external auditors are independent and qualified to perform their duties effectively. The committee therefore recommends that the audited financial statements of the year end at 31st December 2022 and the external auditor's report thereon be presented for adoption at the annual general meeting. Signed by myself, Robert Adey Odiachi, Chairman Statutory Audit Committee, on behalf of Nicholas Nyamali, the shareholder's representative, Sharif Yusuf, shareholder's representative, Olakule Alake, non-executive director, and Mr. Ernest Ebi, independent non-executive director. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Ade Odiachi. I will be pleased to answer questions which may have on the report and accounts before we proceed to the next item of business. <laughs> okay, let me call BC first, a lady. And then, uh, to my left, I, I, I saw you already. Thank you, Mr. I've Chair. seen you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman, Board of Directors, Regulatory authorities here present this morning, my co-shareholders, good morning. My name is Mrs. B.C. Bakari. I'm the National Coordinator of Pragmatic Shareholder Association of Nigeria. First and foremost, Mr. Chairman, I want to use this opportunity to thank the entire board, management, and staff of Dangote Cement PSC for giving us 20 Naira dividend. We say big thank you on behalf of further shareholders. Page two and page four. I want to commend Dangote Cement for their successful, for their successful issuance of 116 billion series two bond, the largest local corporate bond issuance at the time. Congratulations, sir. And again, for successfully completed tranche two of the share bar bike program on 20th January 2022, I say congratulations to the entire board and management of Dangote Cement for this. Mr. Chairman, I have only, okay, I have only two questions. My first question is that uh, how do you hope to maintain cordial partnership and relationship with host community, particularly in sustaining peace, as seen at IBC plant. I would like to know. Lastly, because I don't want to take much of your time to give all that opportunity also. Lastly, how do you hope to address constraint hampering production level, which is uh, reflected in our capacity utilization of 27.8 million tons out of the 51.6 million metric ton installed capacity and the expectation that electionary activities 
we wait on demand in our year of uh, 2023. Once again, thank you very much for the opportunity given to me. Thank you very much, uh, Missy. Uh, you know, I will answer your question after taking the sign also. Good to see you. Thank you. Thank you, Alaji. I would also like to say good to see you at 66. You are happy birthday to you. Thank you. <laughs> Mr. Chairman, I was actually lamenting here when you said you are taking the meeting electronically. Let me just tell you, today so many people are praying that you are one of those that decided to have a physical meeting. All other companies are going virtual, which we shareholders disagree to. In fact, CAC had made a pronouncement that since 31st of December last year, they've removed virtual meeting, so they are not going to go back to it. And lazy shareholders, I mean, lazy company secretaries are not looking into that. They are trying to do everything virtually. There's a meeting holding the other side of Lagos, precisely along uh, uh, that's a more word of thing. The meeting is almost empty. No shareholder there enough the way it should be. Look at the hall here. Yes. So you. when you now talk about electronically, I know your problem. You have a meeting. You are going out for a meeting. We are not against that. But you see, you have done the best for shareholders by inviting us to an open meeting to see you and you interact with your shareholders. There is nothing as good as that. Today, technically or legally, shareholders own every company. I don't know why. Most of the companies do not have respect for shareholders, especially minority shareholders. This we shall fight. We will continue to fight it for them to understand that we are, by law, the owners of this company. Despite, despite the fact that there will always be a money back behind any investment. But we are still the owners of the legally, we are the owners of it. So on behalf of shareholders, I want to thank you for changing at least partially, making us to talk at this meeting. Thank you very much. That's thank why you. you will clock 100 and something, because we'll all be praying for you. <laughs> okay, Mr. Chairman. I want to take us to page 17, which concerns me greatly of the annual report. One is buyback. You recall that in the last two years, I've been shouting that this is a wrong approach to buyback. I didn't get any cover, but you are saying you empower shareholders, if you look at the statement there. For share buyback, let them Google it internationally. It's a pro rata issue. It's not just buying back few shares. If you are buying back 20% of the shares, every shareholder here will also get back, you take, surrender 20% of their shares. That is the way it goes. So we must, we are international company, and we must do everything internationally for people to really understand that we are doing it rightly. Two or three years ago, I made a statement here that it costs us money to bring in experts in six continents of the world to tell us how buyback works. We brought people from India, we brought people from other continents, South Africa. So this buyback is not really right. It doesn't go the way buyback should be. Didn't you sell your own? Did no. you sell this? No, 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 no. Yeah, I but I mean, it's not by force. You cannot force people to sell their shares if they don't no, want to. No, sir. Keep, when sir. you announce buyback, it's always one year notice to buy back. Ghana did it. They gave one year notice. They gave one year notice to every shareholder that they are going to buy back 20% of the shares of the company. And everybody must be involved in it, not selected issue. I think, okay, we'll seek clarification. Please. Yes, we'll do that, definitely. So that I am going to Ghana that. next week, and I will try to get information which I will pass to you. Okay. You see, sometimes we are poor, but it doesn't mean we don't have sense. <laughs> yes. And whatever we are doing. Yes. So I want all the directors of companies to respect minority shareholders. They don't respect us. And that is why, without prayers, they will continue to have problems because they don't respect us. So, you know, we are praying for you always. 
Every time we come to the meeting, everybody will be praying for you because you're your benevolent Thank and you. understanding of things. <laughs> Mr. Chairman, my second observation on that same page is the bond we are taking. The bond. Today, cement is very expensive. And I don't know why we are taking, we continue to take bond. Despite the fact that we are servicing the bonds, but we need to be a bit careful about taking all these loans. We need to be a bit careful about it. So, um, I want to also say, while I join others, thanking you for 20 Naira dividend, but it's not enough. When you look at the price of the shares in the market, work it out and see the percentage of 20 Naira to the price of the shares. You will know that we need to do more, work harder, sell more, and make more money to pay dividend. My appeal to directors is that when you are taking consideration of dividend, look at the price in the capital market. Because this pricing is being made by the shareholders here who are buying up the shares. So when they buy the shares, they want to get good dividend, especially Dankote Cement or everything about Dankote. All of them want to have a shining white hair like you are having. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, Mr. Chairman, that is the page I want to attack. All right. No uh, problem. I want to thank Mr. His Excellency Mr. A.P. for honoring my birthday. Thank you very much. Even though I am a legal senior, I'm 70, he's 66. Uh -huh. So, but we all pray to God that we we'll grow older. That means? Uh -huh. Eh? Thank you. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the way God has destined it. No problem. <laughs> yeah. So, congratulations. Thank you very much. Continue Charles. to remember people when you are taking your decisions because it's people that are praying for you. Thank you. I want to thank you for the opportunity that you have given to me. I plan to attend this meeting. Even when the company secretary was calling, I said, my clutches is still very all right that I will attend this meeting. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, thank I you. think uh, we have to even uh, sort of apologize for fixing the meeting around this time because we didn't really take into account the fasting period. Even myself, I, you know, I'm not supposed to be around. I was out of the country. I had to come back for this uh, special meeting. But uh, I will take few more questions, but before, uh, uh, you know, taking a few questions, I would like to answer what B.C. Uh, Bakary said, you know, in terms of community. Uh, we have actually very good uh, community relations with some of us. Obviously, you cannot satisfy people 100%, but we're trying our best, because if you look at it even now, with the complaint around Igbeshi, uh, with the Papalanto Road, which was built about 40 years ago. If you go now, you see that we've already started doing the uh, road, you know, which is under the tax uh, scheme. Already the high-tech construction company have started, and hopefully by next year we should be able to have a concrete road, uh, which will last for over 50 years. So, with the use of our own capacity, yes, you know, our capacity as we have in some countries, we have exhausted the capacities, you know, countries like uh, Senegal, like Cameroon, and Co. But in you know, other countries, we have excess, you know, which we will use for uh, exports. And all the teasing problems that we have, you know, they have actually, most of them, they have actually been addressed, you know, uh, especially, you know, in Nigeria, we've been uh, having problems with gas. So sometimes, uh, you know, we have low gas pressure, with this, but some of these issues, uh, you know, we are sorting them out one by one. On the issue of uh, buyback, which Mosu uh, raised, we'll look into it, uh, you know, uh, with some professionals to advise us to, uh, you know, the way forward, uh, so that if it's going to be on the basis of, uh, you know, cutting across everybody, you know, we'll apply that. But if it's not, 
we'll come back to you and explain to you what is our own understanding. So maybe let me take two more questions so that we can achieve yeah, it. Yes, I Yes. Thank. I know I've seen you, but yeah. I know Mr. Chairman. Mukhtar Mukhtar, I don't want to give you the mic now. You ask 20 questions. Yeah, because no, we don't want to waste time today. You know, some of us who are fasting, so we want to go quickly and rest. Yes. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Adio A. Alex is the name. Mr. Chairman, what we have come to consider here this morning speaks for itself. And if we look at the page number two, the highlights, the financial highlights, everything there is positive. And this had been the trend over the years. And on behalf of the whole shareholders, I say you have done well. If you look at our profit after tax, that is about 382.3 billion from a revenue of 1.618, translating to 20 Naira dividend. Mr. Chairman, I look at page number 92, the donation 1.6, that is fantastic. If all companies are doing that, I think we'll still be more better off as a nation. But I go quickly to page 33, which has to do with page 33. Yeah, page 33, uh, which has to do with enterprise risk management. And I think this is a good one for identifying all this risk and you have uh, the policy to mitigate against it. But I'm looking at a particular one. This is good. This is fantastic because it gives us direction. I'm looking at number nine. And I want, us, I want the company to look at the policy very well, make sure you police it and review it as appropriate. Because many times you see in the news, accident you cannot control. But when a particular name is becoming almost synonymous, it becomes another thing. But now that you are telling the whole world, they know that it's of nobody's fault. So I want to wish you well, and I say congratulations on your birthday. Thank you, Longley. Thank you very much. Adieu. So, but I, I can't take everybody, because we'll be here, you know, I mean, I'll take maybe two more. Dr. Farouk? Mr. Chairman, I just have one question. I first of all want to commend the registrars, Mr. Chairman, because this is one of the most organized AGMs I have seen. Twelve people, and we came. The accreditation was very smooth, Mr. Chairman. I think we should clap for them. <laughs> Mr. Chairman, I've seen a video recently where you were talking about our uh, uh, investment uh, in African countries and some of the difficulties uh, we have been having uh, to export uh, cement from Nigeria to neighboring countries. Mr. Chairman, I would like you to uh, talk to us to see whether we have resolved the issues. And finally, Mr. Chairman, I know you have been very generous to shareholders. Mr. Chairman, Esther, can you stand up? Mr. Chairman, one of us who has been coming to this AGM, Mr. Chairman, she has lost her memory. And it was very painful when we learned this morning that she could not even talk. But she still made it to your AGM. Mr. Chairman, I would like you to assist her. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Farouk. Definitely, uh, I know Esther very well, you know, and uh, will assist her. You know, definitely. Will do that. Okay, you next, but after you, no more, please. Oh. You have left us. You have left us. 
I will, we are fasting today. I will, I will, I will, I will call you to move a resolution, not questions. Uh, my respected chairman, good morning, sir. My name is Sir Olatunde Okelana, Balogun Olugun of Orilegun, Justice of Peace of Oyo State. MSc Criminal Justice from Chicago State University. Uh, my respected chairman, I am so happy to always be with you. And we want to thank God at least your meeting is physical. I am seeing you again this year. Happy 66th birthday. And my dear chairman, our prayer for you, you will live long so that Nigeria will enjoy your presence for a long time. At 66, 6 plus 6 is 12. 1 plus 2 is 3. And that 3 is only Trinity, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. That triangle is always very important. People that know the meaning of number 3, you are already blessed. What I want to ask you, sir, I, the last time I was having a personal project at Ilori, I bought the cement through the... I even spoke to headboard. I got it for 3000 Now, sir, now it's about 4600 700 outside. That privilege you gave me that time. Please talk to Fumi Sani because I know Fajobi is in Ghana now. Talk to Fumi Sani. I'm not asking you to dash me. It's a personal project. After serving the army for 35 years, I mean, as a security agent, I served meritoriously and I retired four years ago. It's my pension money I used to buy all these things. Assist me to get that cement the way they normally assist us before. We are very close to you. I'm your brother. You are my head. You, you senior me for say uh, almost uh, seven years. That seven years you senior me, you should be able to assist me. You know, when I mentioned that each year, he said, I should remain the question to today. I'm very loyal to Dangoto Cement because I know your brand. I'm very, it's very good for me. So assist me. I'm still having a project in the learning. Edward is aware. I discussed with him. I'm fat job. God no, bless you. Thank you. Thank no, you, sir. No problem. They will, they, they will assist you definitely. I'm sure Fumi is around. She, uh, she must have heard what you said. Eh? Fumi is there. So, Fumi, I hope you have heard it. So, please do the needful. She's there. Okay. Uh, Mukhtar Mukhtar, one question only. If you go above that, I will not. Only one question or one comment. Mr. President, one question of or Dangote one comment. Of group, uh, our very respected board, regulators present, distinguished fellow shareholders, good morning. My name is uh, Alaji Otuba Mukhtar Mukhtar, chairman of the Trust Shareholders Association of Nigeria and Otuba of the whole of Yoruba land. Of the whole of Yoruba land. Mr. President, you are president of Dangote Group in your own right. The tremendous responsibilities you shoulder for the group can well be compared to the presidents and heads of governments across the world. This is very, very commendable, Mr. President. But, Mr. President, I have noticed a great departure from your past. Mr. President, there is a great departure from your past. I cannot imagine a president of a whole country or a, an extremely rich conglomerate like yours to come into a hall and fail to come and greet, you know, to come and, uh, you know, shake hands with the people who have come to celebrate with him. In the past, you have done that, Mr. President. I'm sure the people who advise you are misadvising you, or perhaps they don't want you to hear some things from us. I remember 13 years ago, 13 years ago at the Transcorp Hilton, at the Transcorp uh, Hilton. Mokhtar, Mokhtar, let me let me answer you. Okay. Uh, you know, you know there is uh, uh, traffic which is not under my control. Yeah. And when I came in, because we normally start our AGM on time, because there are other people joining us through uh, this or watching us, so it's not good for us to start late. And that's why 
intentionally I waved, but normally either I come and say hello to you or I will say hello to you after. So yes, that's what I Because I Mr. So President, that's the, that, I, 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 yes. That's the, that's the tradition because... I, I remember 13 years ago, I, I was the one who leaked a false theft syndicate to you that, no. have been steal, that have been stealing hundreds of millions from your company at Obajana. And I, the, 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 the late engineer Mokoju, he called me at the telescope Hilton and said, Mukhtar, what you have told us who have investigated, it was true. So, so Mr. Uh, Chairman, there are some things that interaction with us. Mukhtar, can, Mukhtar, can I ask you a question? Okay, sir. It doesn't make any, it is more dignifying yes, sir. for me to come and thank you, greet you after the AGM. But if I come now, if I greet you, I can't come back again and greet you. <laughs> okay. uh -huh. So that's what you okay, know. Okay, Mr. President. Yes. So Mi I'll finish with you. Mr. President, uh, I, I, I have your question. I have so many questions, but I'll ask just one. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. Mr. Chairman, this, these people you see, these shareholders here, don't go tell the finery is about to be commissioned. It's about to be commissioned, Mr. President. It's, it's not, Mr. President, when are you arranging for a visit by these people to the to the plant? We'll let you know. We have been hearing about. We'll let you know. Okay, oh, Mukhtar, Mukhtar. No, that's why you can call me later and ask me directly. Oh, oh, one question, oh. I know you are oh, one question. If you answer 10, I will also only answer one. So don't, let's not waste time. Um, Chairman, yeah. first, let me say that for me as a person, I would not be asking a question in the manner that you want me to ask them. Because I know that we have the option of question and answer. But I'd rather go the route of answer to the question that I will ask. I will give you the answer and then leave you to take the question. <laughs> okay. Let me also use this opportunity to plead with very fellow shareholders who usually will come to AGM and burn up time. If you don't have any question to ask, please don't stand up and begin to ask questions. Please. And the reason I'm saying this is that we are being watched globally. Don't let us take our standards below what is in accepted internationally. It, it, it rubbishes us. Yeah. It doesn't make us better. Please. And I'm speaking to the head of a number of associations who ordinarily will be respected by you in calling us. Please, let us take this game up. And that's why some companies don't respect us with due respect. Because if you haven't brought value, they will not respect us. Mr. Chairman, having said that, I will plead with you that you will help this company in three major areas. And the reason I'm saying them is that we are not a local company any longer. We, are in, we have factories, at least 10 companies in Africa, and we also have an operation in Nepal. So we're not a local company. Don't let us localize our operations and our attitude at AGM. So in that regard, Mr. Chairman, I will be hoping that you answer matters arising that we raised four years ago before COVID. Please begin to pay us interim dividend. 20 naira is good money. But if it's paid 5 naira, 15 naira, it is not the same. So going forward, we want to hear from you that you pay us interim dividend. <laughs> Mr. Chairman, because you're also a global company, and we have a responsibility to help our economy to grow. Yes, we have auditors. But let's also begin to encourage opportunities for younger 
and not as exposed audit firm. And we raised this four, five years ago. Let's begin to have joint audits. Because a number of persons have left our country. These same big auditors have hired from the smaller audit firm. Let's all join hand in growing our system. So we'll be hoping for, some of us know the challenge, but those challenges are not higher than the benefit that they bring. So let's have joint audits going forward. And Mr. Chairman, the issue of funding and reward system needs to be looked a second time. Our finance costs went up two times in the year under review, largely because of the question or the issue that BC thanked you for. But if you look at our reward system, it may be necessary that we relook the buyback posture. Because if you think of this holding structure, we have 97% of our holding in two hands. I think that is the right time you begin to look at bonus because currently we have 42 billion, 42 billion in premium accounts and we have 960 billion in revenue reserve. Both put together, we have one trillion. If we pay part of that in bonus and keep more money, it will help to depress what we spend in terms of finance costs. But for a better understanding of people who are taking Dangote cement as an investment, not those of us who come in here and we want to see our faces, it may be important that going forward, you also try and use this annual, annual account to explain what our investment strategy is. Because we certainly will continue to borrow, but we must also make people know why we are borrowing and what the strategy will be uh, going forward. And that then will relate to growth. Because if you look at this account, there is, import, there is the need for us to get bigger market share in Tanzania, Sierra Leone, Senegal, and Ghana. And given that the cement consumption in Africa and in a number of places that we have is relatively low, it may also be necessary that we begin to work with government in those countries, how to increase the cement consumption in those localities, and by extension, our revenue will grow. That way, again, going back to the issue of uh, our strategy. Uh, because in Pan-Africa Pan now, the volume that we did this year was lower. Uh, Mr. Chairman, let me thank you as to what I've seen in cost containment. But in cost containment, I'm not sure how this came about. First, I want to confirm that 2023 that we are in, we are going to spend over 300 billion in buying petrol, diesel in all our plants. So what are we looking especially in African countries where we have more sun than Nigeria uh, in taking advantage of solar. But Mr. Chairman, I also find in the year on that review, and I'll mention the page, page 139, sale of electricity dropped from 3.4 billion to 382 million. I I'm not sure what will have happened because that itself would have been a good money for us uh, coming from other sources. And Mr. Chairman, let me close. Haven't uh, allowed me raise the issue that I raise. It may be necessary for us to also amend our memat. Our memat says two persons will form a quorum, and I think that given what you have done, uh, and given the number of companies that you have listed on Nigerian market, uh, we shouldn't be talking about two persons forming a quorum. And I think the number should be better. Uh, but Mr. Chairman, I will not. Uh, be fair to you if I don't appreciate the fact that you wanted us to clap for the lady when she made her presentation and then you also call a lady first uh, but I can confirm that you are, in you are in compliance because if I look at this account the number of ladies uh, in senior management moved five by six percent and which means that looking at that figure now more women have come but I can assure you by some of us men will buy Scottish skates, so we also have opportunity of being on the day. But I'm not sure, looking at this account, whether Edwin was not on maternity leave in 2022, uh, because Edwin attended only two out of five meetings, so I'm certain that he was on maternity leave. So you are welcome back from maternity leave. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. <laughs> Okay, thank you very much. Uh...
We have uh, had all the areas that you, you know, uh, you know, given your advice, and we'll look into it and see what, uh, you know, what we can do. But one of the issues that you raised on sell of electricity, yes, it went down because the country where we are selling electricity, uh, the price did not really work for us because uh, one of the things that we are doing was to use coal to generate power and coal prices went through the roof because of demands from Europe mainly with this gas Russian uh, issue. On audit uh, farms, yes, it has been uh, a debate. I don't want to go into another, you know, debate of us having, uh, you know, we used to have two audit farms, but then we changed. But right now, I think we'll still continue uh, with what we have, and then when we, when the period, uh, you know, uh, expect, then we can look at whether we'll have joint auditors or not. Uh, so I think, uh, in the absence of no further questions, you know, uh, we shall actually now uh, proceed. We now move on to the. Uh, we now move on to the uh, second item on the agenda, which is the declaration. Uh, which is the declaration of uh, a dividend. The Board of Directors has actually recommended that a dividend payment of 20 Naira per share subject to withholding tax be declared in respect of the year ended 31st December 2022 and made payable by tomorrow 14th of April. Are there questions before the motion is put to the meeting? No question. Okay, so since there are no further questions, we shall proceed. Would a shareholder kindly move that a dividend of 20 naira per share subject to withholding tax be declared in respect of the ended, uh, you know, uh, 31st December 2022? Yeah. My name is Kabiru Abdullah Tambari, shareholder. I hereby move for a proposed dividend of 20 Naira per share to us, we shareholders. Thank you. Well, thank you very much, uh, Tambari. Would another shareholder please rise and second the motion? Okay. I'll come to you. Chairman, I rise to second the motion. My name is Patrick Ajudo. Thank you, Patrick. Thank you very much. Uh, the, uh, the, uh, I will now call on the registrar to conduct the voting of the process. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Esteemed shareholders, please let's be reminded that the voting button, sorry, the key parts with us, um, the button A1 represents a yes vote why the button 2B represents a no vote. So the voting period shall last 20 seconds. The voting has now commenced. Please press your keypad. You have 10 seconds left of the voting period. Five seconds left, two seconds. The voting has now ended. Thank you, and we ask that you remain patient while we collate and display the votes. Um, we have 542 shareholders holding 15 billion, 206 million, 307,806 units representing 
100% who have voted in, in favor of the resolution. Um, a shareholder voted against the resolution. I'm not sure if this is correct. Thank you. But I'm sure that must be a mistake. Exactly. <laughs> uh, I, I can't see any shareholder voting against dividend. Uh, following the results of the voting as announced by the registrar, I hereby declare that the resolution to declare a dividend of 20 naira per share, irrespective of the period ended 31st December 2022, has been passed. So I think you should clap since you are, you are receiving your money tomorrow. The next item is the uh, election and re-election of directors. Before proceeding further, I would like to mention that the register of directors attendance at the board meetings during the period under review is available for inspection in accordance with section 284, subsection 2 of the Companies and Allied uh, Matters Act. Okay. At this... Uh, Meeting, Ms. Olakule Alake, Ms. Emmanuel uh, Ekazebo, Ms. Anes Evi, MFR, Ms. Dred Zogoni, and Ms. Balina Marol are retiring from the board in compliance with Section 285 of the Companies and Allied Motors Act and being eligible have offered themselves for re election. Special notice is hereby given pursuant to Section 282 of the Companies and Allied uh, Matters Act that Mr. Emmanuel Ekazebo and Mr. Ernest Ebi MFR are over 70 years of age and have indicated their willingness to continue as directors of your company. In addition, during the year, Ms. Ivan Patak was appointed as the group managing director following Ms. Michelle Picarcher's retirement. We want to use this opportunity to thank Ms. Picarcher uh, once again for his contributions to the board and wish him well in his future endeavors. In compliance with the Companies and Allied Motors Act, Ms. Avin Patak's appointment is to be approved at this meeting. Are there any questions before the motions are put to the meeting? No, okay, thank you. Since there are no further questions, we shall proceed now. Uh, Re-election of Mr. Olakule Alake, who you know uh, very well, uh, so he's standing for recognition. Uh, you know, I hereby move that Mr. Olakule Alake be and is hereby elected as director of the company. Was some was another shareholder? Please rise and second the motion. Okay, go ahead. My name is Prince Engineer Emoti Olaiwala. I rise to move the motion. Thank you, Mr. Olaiwala. The chairman now calls on register to conduct voting process. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, so the voting period has commenced and would last for 20 seconds. Please proceed to press your voting devices. Ten seconds left. Five seconds. Two seconds. The voting has now ended. Please remain calm while we display the votes. Um, we have 536 shareholders holding 15 billion, 152 million, 354,201 units are representing 99.65% who have voted in favor of the resolution. 10 shareholders holding 
969,752 units, representing 0.35%, voted against the resolution. Thank you. Thank you very much. Following the results of the voting as announced by the registrar, I hereby declare that the resolution to re-elect Ms. Olakule Alake as a director of the company has been passed. Congratulations, Mr. Alake. Samosu, yeah. you yeah. didn't clap. Ah, okay. Re-election of Mr. Emmanuel Ikazebo. I hereby move that uh, Ms. Emmanuel Ikazebo be and is hereby re-elected as a director of the company. Will someone please? Samosu. Mr. Chairman, I move that, as you have directed my former chairman in ETI, to be re-elected the director of Danko Thank you. Thank you very much. I now put the motion to a vote. You have 20 seconds to vote, please. Register. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Please, with the permission of Mr. Chairman, please, I would like to explain the voting process again. I got a feedback that some people did not um, get that explanation, probably because we made that explanation long before we started the voting. Thank you. So please, our esteemed shareholders, kindly take a look at your respective voting parts. The button 1A is for a yes vote, and 2B is for a no vote. Once I announce that the voting has commenced, please press the reference button in accordance with your decision. Please note that the yes vote, please note that you can change your vote during the voting period. But once the voting period has ended, the last button you pressed will be recorded as your vote. Thank you. So um, we shall proceed with this, with the third um, vote. The voting period shall last 20 seconds. The voting has now commenced. Ten seconds left. Five seconds. Two seconds. The voting has now ended. We ask that you remain patient while we collate and display the vote. Five hundred and forty three shareholders holding fifteen billion. 192,918,642 units hold, re, are representing 99.91% voted in favor of the resolution. Three shareholders holding 13,405,311 units are representing 0.09% voted against the resolution. Thank you. Thank you very much. Following the results of the voting as announced by the registrar, I hereby declare that the resolution to re-elect Mr. Emmanuel Ikazabo as a director of the company has actually been passed. Mr. Emmanuel, congratulations. Uh, Re-election of Mr. Ernest Avi, MFR. Uh, I hereby move that Mr. Ernest Avi MFRB and is hereby re-elected as a director of the company. Will another shareholder please? Okay. Okay, I'll come next one. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. My name is Pastor Lagoki Samson Ulushegi. I second that motion. Thank you very much, Pastor. Uh, I now call on the register to conduct the voting, please. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. The voting has now commenced. Please, you have 20 seconds to vote. Ten seconds left. Five seconds. Two seconds. The voting has now ended. 
please remain patient while we collate and display the votes. We have um, 544 shareholders holding 15 billion, 193 million, 606,142 units and representing 99.92% who have voted in favor of the resolution. Two shareholders holding 12 million, 717,000, 811 units and representing 0 0.08 units voted against the resolution. Thank you. Thank you uh, very much, uh, Registrar. I hereby move that Mr. Anis Ebi, MFRB, and is hereby re-elected as a director of the company. Um, I think we've done Anis, right? Yeah, okay. So now I will move on to the re-election of uh, Mr. Dred Zagoni, uh, who unfortunately couldn't uh, make it. Uh, you know, here I hereby move that Mr. Dred Zagoni be and is hereby re-elected as a director of the company. Would another shareholder please? Okay. Thank you, Amebu uh, Chairman. My name is Tunji Bamedele. I rise to second that motion. Thank you, God bless you. Thank you, Beverly. I now call on the register to conduct the voting process. Please. Okay, you'll be the next. Yes, register, please. Can you conduct the voting? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. The voting has now commenced. You have 20 seconds to vote, please. Ten seconds left. Five seconds. Two seconds. The voting has now ended. Please remain patient while we collate and display the vote. We have 536 shareholders holding 15 billion, 152 million, 354,201 units and representing 99.65% who have voted in favor of the resolution. 10 shareholders holding 53,969,752 units representing 0.35% have voted against the resolution. Thank you. Thank you. Uh very much. Uh, following the results, uh, you know, of voting as announced by the registrar, I hereby declare that the resolution to re-elect Mr. Dred Zogorny as a director of the company has been passed. Congratulations. Re-election of uh, Ms. Balina Maro. I hereby move that Ms. Balina Maro be and is hereby re-elected as the director of the company. Would another shareholder please second the motion? Okay, the lady, the lady down there, yes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, for recognizing me. Fume to fume. Mrs. CEO Obide. Thank you very much, Mr. Obide. Uh, I now call on the registrar to please conduct the voting. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. The voting has now commenced. Please press your voting devices. Ten seconds left of the voting period. Five seconds left. Two seconds. The voting has now ended. Please remain patient while we collate and display the votes. We have 543 shareholders holding 15 billion, 184 million, 771,439 units, and representing 99.86% who have voted in favor of the resolution. 
three shareholders holding 21 million 552,514 units and representing 0.14% voted against the resolution. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, well, following the results that, uh, you know, I, uh, uh, the results of the voting as announced by the registrar, I hereby declare that the resolution to re-elect Ms. Berlina Marol as a director of the company has actually been passed. Congratulations, Berlina. The appointment of Mr. Avin Patak. I hereby move that Mr. Avin Patak be and is hereby appointed as a director of the company. Would another shareholder please second the motion? Uh, maybe let me go to the, the gentleman there. Yes. Yes, you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Okay, you are next. My name is Sakab Ganiu Atada. I have by second division. Thank you very much. Uh, I now call on the register to please conduct uh, the voting process. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. The voting has now commenced, please. We have 10 seconds left of the voting period. Five seconds left. Two seconds. The voting has now ended. Please remain patient while we collate and display the votes. We have a total of 546 shareholders holding 15 billion, 206 million, 323,953 units and representing 100% who have voted in favor of the resolution. No shareholder abstained or voted against the resolution. Thank you. Thank you very much. I, uh, following the results of the voting as announced, by the registrar, I hereby declare that the resolution to appoint Mr. Ivan Patak as a director of the company has been passed. Congratulations, sir. Thank you. Dear shareholders, I hereby present Ms. Olakule Alake, Emmanuel Ikazabo, Ms. Ernest Ebi, Durey Zagoni, Ms. Berlina Morol, and Ms. Avin Patak as your newly uh, re-elected and elected directors. I call on Ms. Emmanuel Ekazovo to please say a few words of appreciation to our distinguished shareholders. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, for this opportunity. On behalf of my colleagues and I, I want to thank you all for electing and re-electing us to the board of your company. We pledge our total support and service to the company for the interest of all shareholders, stakeholders, and our great company. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Emmanuel uh, Ekazebo. So, uh, you know, so I think we will now go to the uh, next item uh, on the agenda is the remuneration of the auditors. Section 408, subsection 1 of the Companies and Allied Motors Act 2020 requires that their remuneration shall be fixed by the company in general meeting or in such, uh, or in such manner as the company in general meeting may determine. Are there any questions before the motion is put to the meeting? Thank you. Since there are no further questions, we shall proceed now. Would the shareholder please kindly move that the directors be and are hereby authorized to fix the remuneration and expenses of the auditors in respect of the year ended 31st December 2023. 
Okay. Yes. Thank you, sir. My name is Amy Folami Gafar. I have by second the motion. Thank you very much for seconding the motion. I now call on the registrar to please conduct a voting, uh, the voting process. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. This, um, we have to vote now, please. You have 20 seconds left. Ten seconds left of the voting period. Five seconds left. Two seconds. The voting has now ended. We ask that you remain patient while we display the votes. Um, we have a total of 546 shareholders holding 15 billion, 206 million, 323,953 units and representing 100 persons who have voted in favor of the resolution. No shareholder abstained or voted against the resolution. Thank you. Thank you very much, Registrar. Following the results of the voting as announced by the Registrar, I hereby declare that the resolution to authorize the directors to fix the remuneration and expenses of the auditors in respect of their uh, end, uh, ending 31st December 2023 has been passed. We I now go to the next item on the agenda uh, is the disclosure of the remuneration of managers. Section 257 of the Companies and Allied Motors Act provides that the comp compensation of managers shall be disclosed to members of the annual general meeting. Accordingly, I hereby disclose and invite members to note that this item has been provided for on pages 138 to 139 of the annual reports and accounts. Thank you. Uh, the next item. I'll tell the meeting. Okay. Let's hear. The next uh, item on the agenda is the election of shareholders' representatives of the Statutory Audit Committee, Section 404, Subsection 3 of the Companies and Allied. Uh, Matters Act 2020 provides that a maximum of five uh, members of the statutory audit committee consisting of two directors and three uh, directors representatives of the shareholders be elected at an annual general meeting. <clears throat> the Act further provides that in the case of uh, election of the shareholders' representatives. Nomination should be received not later than 21 days before the date of the meeting. The Board of Directors have nominated the following directors for election as members of the statutory audit committee. Uh, Mr. Ernest Evi, MFR. Mr. Olakule Alake. Since the board has made valid nomination as required by the Companies and Allied Motors Act 2020, there is no need to vote on them. I hereby declare that the two directors are hereby appointed as members of the statutory audit committee of Dangote Cement PLC. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, there are three more seats on the statutory audit committee to be filled in accordance, in accordance with Section 404 of the Companies and Allied Motors Act 2020. As of 23rd of March 2023, 121 nominations were received by the company secretary from, from the shareholders uh, for election as members of the statutory uh, audit committee. Of this, 
104 candidates have withdrawn their nominations, while 14 are invalid. Uh, the remaining nominations, therefore, are Mr. Robert Ade Odiachi, Mr. Sheriff Yusuf Majurola, Majurola uh, Mr. Nicholas Nyamali. Are there questions before the motion is put to the meeting? All right, thank you. Since there are no questions, I will move on now. Since there are only three valid nominations are required by law, would a shareholder kindly move that Mr. Ad, uh, Robert Ade Odiachi, Mr. Sheriff Yusuf Mojirola, and Mr. Nicholas Nyamali be and are hereby elected as members of the statutory audit committee to serve until the conclusion of the next AGM. Okay. You get crash, you. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Chairman. My name is Prince Peter Eyanuku. I so move, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. Would all those in favor of this motion please signify by raising your hands? I didn't see your hands, though. All right, so uh, thank you very much. Would anyone objecting to the motion please signify by raising his right hand? Okay, they are stuck in traffic. All right, thank you. Are there no, uh, as there are no objecting motions, I hereby declare that Mr. Robert Ade Udiachi, Mr. Sheriff Yusuf Mojirola, and Mr. Nicholas Inyamali be and are hereby elected as members of the statutory audit committee until the conclusion of the next AGM. Dear shareholders, I hereby present to you the members of the statutory audit committee who will serve until the conclusion of the next AGM. They are Mr. Ernest Evi, MFR, uh, Mr. Olakule Alake, Mr. Robert Ade Odiachi, Mr. Sheriff Yusuf Mojirola and Mr. Nicholas Nyamali. Please join me in congratulating members of the statutory audit committee while wishing them the best in the service of the company. Sorry, uh, the next item on the agenda is an ordinary resolution for the approval of the, uh, of the remuneration of directors. The directors are proposing the sum of 5 million naira per annum for the chairman and 4 million naira per annum for each non-executive director. These are the same amounts as paid in the preceding year. Are there questions before the motion is put to the meeting? Be okay, since there are no further questions, we shall proceed. Will the shareholder kindly move that the remuneration of the chairman or, uh, for five million naira and uh, the remuneration of the non-executive directors uh, of four million for each of the non-executive directors for the year ended 31st March 23? Yeah, BC. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. My name is Mrs. Bakari at ABC. I so move, sir. Thank you, Ms. Bakari. Uh, the registrar, can you please conduct the voting on it? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, the voting has now commenced. Uh, I think we are, we are waiting for connection. Okay.
I think you have a, okay. Okay. Let me just read out this. Let me just read this. Yeah. Okay, um, we have 536 shareholders holding one, sorry, 15 billion, 152 million, 354,201 units and representing 99.65% who have voted in favor of the resolution. Eight shareholders holding 41 million, 251,941 units and representing 0.27% voted against the resolution. Two shareholders holding 12,717,811 units and representing 0.08% has abstained from the resolution. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, following the results of the voting as announced, by the registrar, I hereby declare that the ordinary resolution to approve the remuneration of the chairman for five million naira and the non executive directors uh, four million naira each for the year ending 31st December 2023 has actually been passed. Uh, so thank you very much. Uh, before I go on to closing, you know, I would like to. Uh, you know, uh, say to Dr. Parukh that please, Dr. Parukh, can you connect with the uh, CEO of Dangote Foundation that will look after Esther and will, you know, will, yes, will, will, will give her the best medical attention. Actually, I think she watched us from somewhere and she sent a text to me that please, we should help her, so we'll help her. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, we have come to the end of the uh, agenda. On behalf of the board, I thank you for your attendance at this meeting and wish to express our appreciation for your continued interest and support of our company over the years. Uh, unless you want to say something? Okay, please, quickly. Can you give him my microphone quickly? Hello. 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 I told you that I have been asked to deliver a message on behalf of all the minority shareholders. But this time around, my voice may not be as loud as it used to be, but however, they will follow. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you, Aliko. Happy birthday to you. How old are you now? 66. How old are you now? How old are you now, Aliko? How old are you now? May the good Lord bless you. May the good Lord bless you. May the good Lord bless you on your birthday. May the good Lord bless you. Hip, hip, hip. Yeah. Hip, hip, hip. Thank you very much. I, I know you will recall Thank that you. three years ago, my voice was louder than this <laughs> when I did it. But Thank I you. still thank God. God. Thank you very much, uh, distinguished shareholders. I uh, deeply appreciate uh, this, uh, you know, birthday best wishes from you. And I thank you very much. And I hope uh, to see most of you tomorrow uh, at our next meeting. Uh, I think I would like to uh, call on uh, Sayumosu to give us a 
closing prayer of which then after the prayers you may take your leave after the national answer. Sayon Osu. Yeah, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Thank, Father, we thank you for the success of this meeting. There have been religious success all over the world. That the two major religions, the Islam and the Christianity, enjoy their fasting together. So that's a great unification, that peace will actually be with all of us. Father, we have discussed at this AG and we have advised the board, may you strengthen them, give them the good health and sound mind to understand our advice. And by the time we are meeting here next, next year, may our dividend double what we are receiving today. May the political environment too be good for all of us to coexist. Father, we thank you and we bless you. May all of us get to our various destinations peacefully. Those who are traveling like our chairman, may he have journey messages. Yeah. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Thank you, Father. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. National Anthem, please.